It's not something that a lot of people want, but ako feeling ko talaga it's something that I would need, especially if the greater goal is to protect your family. Right. Diba? Ang ano ang lalim ng usapang oh zombie. So seriously, diba? You you get to uh, it, it it touches Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Welcome. This is Sean. I do sneakers, I do travel, and everything in between. What's uh, up? <laughs> ano, ano nga pa lolit pangalan? Uh, Car Carlo po. Carlo Ople. Yeah. So uh, I'm with this guy. Um, some guy, no? Carlo. Some random dude. <laughs> Carlo Ople is his name. So let's get serious. You've seen the title. What sneakers would you bring with you in a zombie apocalypse? I've been holding off on this episode for a while now. But um, when we agreed on this collab, bro, I thought this is the episode I want to film with you because it requires conversation. And, and at least it's different. It's not boring. Yeah. It's not your typical sneaker review, right? So. Totally. It's uh, there, there's going to be some kind of debate, I think. And uh, who better do it with than with the bows with the sauce, <laughs> Carlo Ople? So uh, yeah. So what are the elements of uh, what, what are the factors in a zombie apocalypse? Chaos. Well, you have a lot of zombies, that's one. You're running up and down the street wanting to kill you and eat you alive. Absolutely. So survival is like the most important thing. There's there's running involved. Yeah. Wait, before that, what's your favorite zombie movie? Zombie movie. You know what? I would say it's um, the the Days Later ah, series. Yeah, I know Started that. with the 28 yeah, yeah. Days Later. Yeah, my, mine would be the one with Brad Pitt. I forgot the name. World Z. War Z. World War Z, yes. Yeah, yes. was that it? World War Z. I just yes. love the, the overall cinematography and the concept. And I have two cats playing on the table, so it might be shaky. But but yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite zombie movie. So there's uh, there's running involved. You will need sneakers whether you like it or not. Hindi pilit itong episode na to because <laughs> footwear is essential. Footwear yeah, is, it's, actually. It's almost equal to your survival factor. Yeah. Your, your ability to move and yeah, to and run. Yeah, and protect your feet because apart from running all over the place, the zombies might bite your feet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shoes critical. So, zombies under the bed, oh, hiding yeah. in the bush. Or you parang kapag naglalakad ka na lang, then a hand grabs you. Parang mga ganon. Those are the scenes that I see in movies. Eh. See? See? You're more and more reasons to have uh, great footwear. So, here we go. So, here's, here's how we're gonna do it. Uh, Haba ng intro natin. Wow. Uh, we're gonna talk about other factors first, other uh, survival categories, and then we'll get to the sneakers. Let's get right to it. Number one, the first category here is what is your weapon of choice? Mm, ako, I personally, I'll, I'll pick something light because there are a lot of zombies. Eh. So you, you'd want to have something that you can easily slice them through. Uh, probably, uh, and this is probably because I keep watching Pawn, Pawn Stars a lot, mm -hmm. like a nice katana. Oh, um, yeah, vintage yeah. katana that you can just slice their head off fast and quick. Mission style. Oh, that's because it's easy. It's light. You can bring it around. If you pick one up, then you can do a wheel. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'd, I'd love to rock a katana. But the, the nice one, ah, the one that really slices through mm. flesh and bone easily, not like mm. the the bad ones. One, the, one swoop. Oh, isang taga tanggal ulo. Yon. Same page tayo. My weapon of choice would be a bladed weapon also, but. The way we're different is that I don't want a katana length weapon. Ano lang ako, uh, two feet in length. <clears throat> pa. Two, two feet in length. Because uh, length is important. You'd wanna, you don't want your hand anywhere near the teeth, right? Yeah. But if it's too long, you kind of lose agility and mobility. Ah, true. A shorter blade, eh, kanya kanya namang anin, a shorter mm. blade to me, at pag nag double weapon ka pa, mas madali. Ay ayo ko si lumapit sa list. <laughs> okay. Oh, going, going. <laughs> okay, next uh, survival consideration. What would be your vehicle of choice? A really thick car, like a, uh, a Hummer, or yeah. maybe if I can find one, a tank. A tank. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Why not? Something thick, hard, and can protect me, but at the same time move. Uh, yeah. That that's like well, if I could go a plane or a helicopter, that would be like the ultimate best. Mm -hmm. But but if I can't do any, at least something that will protect people inside it. Uh, yeah. So the the problem there would be like probably the fuel efficiency. So I'll have to. But it, it goes with the territory. If you want like the big bulky cars, 
mm. you need to be able to develop like I don't know where you can get the fuel and stuff, right? right? right. But but yeah, I'd, I'd really prefer something big and bulky that can protect me like a Hummer. Great choice. I I, I do the same. Um, a big car, uh, diesel powered, para fuel efficient. And uh, th this comes with the assumption that uh, you have a system in place for yeah. uh, acquiring fuel, of course. Here we go with the next category, the type of people you want in your colony. Okay, so let's quantify it. Let's say there's, uh, there's only five people you could take. Only so, five? Only five, only five. And then, so, so, hirap, no? So you have your family and na yon, however many they are. Let's okay. say 15 people, family and closest friends. And you have five people you could take. Okay, what are their personalities or what are their skill sets? Oh, that's an interesting question. Oh. Uh, well, well, Siguro, some, I would pick people who will complement my strengths mm -hmm. and complement the way I think and try to cover up the weaknesses that I have mm -hmm. so that it's more of a cohesive unit. And secondly, I'll try to find people that I have really good chemistry with and, and I don't know, like, so you can build some sort of workflow that not too much disruptive. So Siguro, the types of people that I'd, I'd, I'd want to get um, number one, people who are into details mm -hmm. and can tell para kalamo team building. <laughs> Pero kanya, you're fixing, more, more or less. Kanya, that's you're, a you're going to fix like your 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 stronghold. Right. I'm the type of guy kasi who will just say, I wanted something like this. Oh. This is the vision, this I will do it, this is the strategy. Mm. But I'm not the guy who will make sure that every single part of the wall is secure. Right. right. Do, you, do you know what I mean? Yes, yes. So I'd, I'd love to get somebody who can, who's like a thinker, who's like a builder, an architect. So that's the first person. Somebody super into details, a project manager, and can help build whatever it is that we need to build. Mm -hmm. Number two, we definitely need a cook. So uh -huh. <laughs> there was somebody who can cook food, somebody who can, you know, make sure that the na luto ko na mahuli namin. Number three, I'd like to find somebody who's like a doctor. Or at least somebody who's into medicine, because you never know. Sometimes, because it's not the zombies that will kill you, eh? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like it's, a sickness it's, it's or disease, what, disease that, that, that can spread, and you're in a vacuum, and yeah, then, and you yeah. just die. Diba? So somebody would, injuries from falls, or uh, yeah, yeah, or a wound festers, diba? and you it yeah. gets infected and stuff like that. Exactly. Uh, then I'll probably get like a, I don't know, like some sort of bouncer type person, you know, big burly guy who. Yeah, yeah. I'll get two. <laughs> two of those. <laughs> two of those. So yeah, more or less, uh, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything critical, but yeah, those are the things that I'd probably get. Okay, okay. I'll go with my uh, choice of people. So personalities-wise, I'll go with people, of course, that I get along with, and it goes without saying. It almost always follows that people you get along with are the people with the same interests, same wavelength, ganyan. Pero, um, if, if I had to choose between skill set and getting along with people, Maybe skill set na rin. Oh, kasi mamatay ka eh. Oh, eh. zombie. Survival eh. I'll, I'll need a doctor, medical guy. A, a nurse would do, of course. So having discussed the people you want in your colony, what will your role be? Sino ka? Anong priorities mo? Definitely, I'd like to lead the colony because I wouldn't want to trust it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Parang if it's my life, it's the life of my loved ones, I'd like to take accountability and responsibility for it. Mm -hmm. So now, whatever it takes to get Sabina and my loved one secure, mm -hmm. I'll do. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes me some sort of like a Negan character from Walking Dead. <laughs> if I need to build or get like other strongholds or households or fuel for food, if I need to build alliances, if I need to shut down other people who are like threatening, whatever it is. Yeah. So yeah, pero yun that 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 accountability and responsibility to make the decisions, to keep people in line, and to tell them where we should go. I think it's not something that a lot of people want, but I'm feeling ko talaga it's something that I would need, especially if the greater goal is to protect your family. Right. Diba? Yeah, so my role will definitely be chief also. I'm going to be the boss. I'm going to be the leader. Um, some people are just built that way. You, you want to lead because there are certain things na. Uh, you want in order and uh, you know with, with, with the scope and with the history and uh, with the life experience that we both had I guess it just comes naturally to, to want to lead my priority will be um, a delegation of uh, roles no but my, my number one priority will be defense zombies all around oh, because when zombie comes in you're all dead yes you, <laughs> you'll, you'll have to have a defense system and that includes weapons uh, alarm system alarm system na everyone understands uh, defense against marauders and looters and other people because would you agree that 
the living, the people are sometimes more dangerous than the zombies. Oh, just by watching The Walking Dead, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> man is very dangerous if if they're not if they don't have hope. Exactly. And if their morals are kind of out of the door already, they'll do it anything and everything. So yeah. Yes. Yes. In, in times like these, I know, eh, um, it brings out the best and worst in man. And we get to the part that you uh, you came here for. We're gonna talk about the sneakers that we would bring in a zombie apocalypse. So let's start with you. Uh, we're gonna do two sneakers each. Uh, Carlo first, then me, then Carlo, then me. Okay, so game. So this is like the big boss <laughs> so <shall> sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the Converse. I think it's like a basketball shoe. I forgot the actual name of the silhouette. It's a uh, Jap- ERX, Converse ERX. Ayon, there you go. And it's like a Japanese artist who made it. Again, I forgot, but I am so Louis to nakasula dito sa tongue tab. So this one is more aesthetic than anything. <laughs> I'm the boss for the days that you're walking around the camp, or if you have like a showdown with another boss or whatever. Si si paain mo na ako ang tatamad tamad. So ito, this is like the big boss shoe. So that's the first one, and it's it's also comfortable. It's an amazingly comfortable sneaker for a high cut high cut shoe. Mm. And again, uh, at least it's black. So if it gets splattered with zombie blood. It's easy to clean, right? Oh. So yeah, that's the first one. This is like the Converse. Ah, what do you call it again? ERX. ERX. Uh, for, uh, made for basketball in the 80s, but now retooled for lifestyle use. Yeah. So more for the for the statement. Oh, no? chakin so, yari when you're negotiating with other camps. Oh, yeah. Oh, Naka Converse oh, to ah. Oh, Naka collab. Tapos kini yari kung gusto mo maging like that that ano that rogue ninja type. Ala, ano pa? What's what's your name? The, the girl with the katana? Mishon. Mishon. Mm. Tapos nakalagay pa dyan, oh, I am so Louis. Parang may paki yung zombie, no? Yes. <laughs> na maganda yung sapatos mo. <laughs> Hindi matatakot, pero oh, pwede pero, na. Pero the, the thing about shoes kasi sometimes is that it gives you that extra boost. Yes. You know what I mean? I, I totally agree. Like confidence yes. or whatever. You look down and then you feel a little bit more invincible than you were when you were just wearing slippers. So, yeah. Look good, feel good, play good. Nangyayari oh. din sa basketball yan. So yeah, that's the first one. Good choice, good choice. I, I totally rock that. So my first sneaker is this. This is the Nike LeBron Zoom Soldier 10. Okay, and more for the utility aspect. Um, I'll need a sneaker that I can easily get into and slip out of. Um, it's high top. Uh, it will protect my ankles from... Because uh, my role also would be a... Uh, I'm going to be a hunter. Um, a recon type guy. I'm gonna look for people, so I'll be in the field. I'll be out in the field a lot, and uh, there will be jumping and running, and these will protect me. But uh, straps lang yan, straps lang, and the uh, magandang cushioning, and uh, you know, pag nakalibron ka in, in an apocalyptic setting, meron ding kind of uh, a statement ano yan, eh, na this guy is a, he's, he's messing with the king, so. Maybe he knows what he's doing, so mas madali mag-negotiate. Yo. So yeah, Zoom, LeBron, Soldier, 10. Yeah. Okay. Ah, next sneaker, Carlo. So the next sneaker that I have is like one of the most comfortable sneakers that I've ever bought and had. So, and at the same time, it's easy to actually run in also. Well, I'm not sure that you use this sneaker for running. But yeah, I super like this one. Actually, a recent purchase. So this is the Jordan Proto React. Yung maganda dito, naka-outlet pa siya. So, <laughs> so muro so, na lang yeah. siya, di ba? Talagang nagbentay. But anyway, so yeah, this one, super comfortable with the React midsole. But at the same time, it has that balance when it comes to stability and cushioning. Kasi they have like, I don't know what you call this, like rubber, I don't know, insets on the outsoles to give it better support. But it's not just super soft. Uh, and at the same time, the upper is easy to clean. So it's some sort of like water resistant, yeah. uh, blood resistant upper that again, that you can use. Textile oh. mesh. And, and I love you, ano, the energy response that you get, especially with the heel part of the shoe. Mm-hmm. So if you're like moving around and if you, you know, you're cutting zombie heads off, I just think that it's nice. So yeah, I imagine eh, if it gets battle worn, but if you have splatters of blood along the sides, diba? it matches the eyelets and the uh, different accents. So, yeah, yun lang. <laughs> I, I, ju- I just had a nerdy thought. So, may blood, di ba? Tingnan nyo yung bottoms, guys. So, imagine nyo mo may blood dyan. Oh, Para siyang brains. Oh, di ba? Tinan mo yung pattern. Parang brain. My my second shoe would be the shoe that's on my feet. <laughs> Cover your nose. So, the Vans Skate Mid. Or any Vans Skate. Okay? So, uh, if you've been hanging with me for a while, you'll know that 
the greatest sneaker of all time for me is the Vans Skate. And uh, what this gives me more than anything is a sense of home and hope. And um, I'll be wearing a sneaker that's close to my heart, a sneaker that I consider the best of all time. Ultimately, naman, you'll want to survive because you believe that there is a better future. Yaun. If if you've lost hope, man, you, you're just wala, you're just gonna die. Sa setting, hindi eh, pare, di ba? You, you, you want to live and you want to build a better future. And, and uh, that, the, the van sneaker reminds you of all of that. The van sneaker. <laughs> Vans, baka naman. <laughs> Vans, <laughs> Philippines, baka naman. <laughs> hindi, hindi ako pinapansin ng Vans, baka pagkatapos nito. Pag, dami ko lang nabili sa inyo, ha? <laughs> So that's it guys, zombie setting. I had fun with this episode. Uh, we want to hear your thoughts guys. Hit us up in the, com in, in the comments. Let's have a conversation. What would you take with you? What sneakers? So you could answer the other questions. What role will you play? Uh, it, it's gonna be fun. So Carlo, thanks again for doing this with me. I'm happy to be here, man. Well, uh, you're in my house, so happy you're here. <laughs> I mean, Carlos, happy you're in my episode. Oh, naman, of Marami course. Salamat, salamat for salamat. doing this again. So uh, we're gonna close this in the Carlo way, in the Carlo fashion. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Peace, God bless, what's up, boom.